much wider. Did he go to war? Yes. Now let's look at the wars that he uh, participated in, right? 29 battles in his lifetime, okay, if I'm not mistaken. 29 battles in his lifetime. Is this a speech Most of those. Are we having a dialogue? Well, it's a dialogue, but he has made a historical why, why point. Why are you biting him? So, speaker's you corner. Him? Oh, so when I okay. said speaker's corner right. earlier on, so, I, I was biting him. I mean, please, please, please. Right. No, no, it's between us, between us, between us. So Muhammad Sayyid Salam, I appreciate it. He participated in 29 battles. For the most part, they were defensive. For the most part, they were defensive battles. Okay, look, 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 look. look, look. Okay, please. He can't hear me. Guys, guys, please. He can't, he can't hear me. He can't hear me, yeah? yeah. Salli al Nabi, Salli al Nabi, okay? So for the most part, they were defensive uh, wars, okay? No, none. And none. what do you call it? He's a liar. Some of them were offensive. Some of them were, were offensive, right? Where he took his army out of camp to go and engage another army, okay? The number I can't tell you. What happened in these wars? Not many casualties. It wasn't, ma it wasn't, ma it wasn't massacres, right? The expulsion of uh, two of the Jewish um, uh, tribes was based upon treason. Uh, as well as, and the third one, they were executed based upon treason. Only the grown men, okay? Why didn't he forgive them? And Why didn't he forgive them? The conquest of Mecca, when he went to invade Mecca, he forgave the entire population of Mecca, apart from 10 individuals who were put to the sword, who were executed for their crimes against Islam and uh, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Now, after his death, there was the apostasy wars, where Abu Bakr uh, uh, fought the apostates, um, and then conquered the Arabian Peninsula. Did and then, hold on. Just, just for everyone, hold so on. you're making a case. No, 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 hold on. Muhammad I'm giving you the history. Because like, so, my thing is like. Right, okay. So you need to know. Right, so you need to understand. You need like, to understand the concept of a. All right, so the concept of a warlord is someone right, who is blood person. Hold on. My basic understanding, warlord. not necessarily dictionary definition. No, no, no. But a warlord in, is. Someone with engage with me. Engage with me. He's got a group of guys and he's going around conquering. That's how they acquire resources and women. Okay. And no, he was the leader of the that's world actually world. no. That's not the that's not a definition oh, of the right, world. Okay. No, no, but no, no. But d definitions are important. Would you agree? No, but would you right, agree? Which, I'm asking you. I'm asking no, you if you agree. No, but that's a silly question. Uh, no. Like. Okay, so you agree? Oh, I don't agree that definitions are important. Or come on, like, there's only one answer right. to that. No. Okay. Okay. So, what happened after Muhammad peace be upon him died? So, uh, when Muhammad peace be upon him was alive, there was no conquest. Conquests can, uh, can happen after his death. So when you, if you, if we were to use your definition of a warlord, it does not apply to the Muhammad peace be upon him. Because okay. Hold on a second. Uh, Hold on a second. I can, I can I'm not so, saying that. I don't know. So, I'm just okay. letting you know so the conquest. Like the so let's talk about the let's talk about the conquests of Islam. The conquest is of this Islam. This is a debate as well, so we can't. No, 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 no. It's, a it's, a it's a discussion. It's a discussion. It's a discussion. It's a discussion. It's not a moderated debate. Oh, I'm getting to the end. So what happened with the conquests uh, of the Islamic Empire? Yes, wars were fought on the battlefield, but in the cities that were conquered, people were not put to the sword to accept Islam. If anything, if you look at people like, for example, Dr. Roy Casagranda, right, he's a, he's a political scientist, right, who actually lo who loves history and looks uh, at this uh, uh, period of uh, history. Is he on the left or is he on the right? I'm not, I'm not sure of his political position, all right? However, 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 he's, however, he spoke, however, he spoke at this year's um, uh, gov government, uh, world government conference, okay? He spoke at this year's World Government Conference, so he's actually someone that's worth uh, taking his opinion. So Dr. Roy Casagranda is very clear that um, when Muslims uh, invaded uh, and, and conquered these cities, they fought the battles on the battlefield, but the cities they left alone, and that's how they improved them. Right, Why because did they didn't they didn't lay waste. They didn't lay waste to the city. What's the definition of improvement? So they improved the cities by so what was the what was the procedure of the Muslims? Okay? When they entered a city they let the people keep their property, their wealth, they didn't loot, they didn't rape. Okay. Did they make which them is, dimmy? Which is did they make them dimmy? I'm, I'm speaking to him. However, so to address this point, so you understand the, uh, the term dimmi. Dimmi is what do you call it? A, uh, a second a pre, grade citizen. A, a protected people. That is what the word. No, no well, that is what it's. Like, no, no, no. Dimmi, dimmi. No, no, no. No, no, no. Dimmi, dimmi, dimmi. People are protected people. Now this is why, right? Now we had something which is called the jizya. The jizya was a tax 
uh, upon the population that were not Muslim. Yeah, yeah okay. they'll die. Because they don't pay. Um, because that was that money was paid, right, to improve the city, as well as uh, protect the inhabitants What's of the city. What's the rate of uh, taxation of jizya on the first? Less than zakat. Huh? Less than zakat. Less than, okay, okay. Good. Good. Look, bro, let me. So, let me so this is the here. this is the reality. So, He's lying. so conquest. Hey, listen, listen. I'm speaking to him. No, no, no. I'm speaking to him. I'm gonna make a point. The man He's has the man has given me he said a respect. It was half, less than half. It was. No, I said less than. No, the, I said less than the zakat. Fifty percent on the inhabitants of uh, Khaybar. That's a lot. That's a lot. Fifty percent of the crops of uh, Khaybar. He's lying, and that was the that was the prophet. Okay. After he killed all the men, beheaded them. Why did he behead them after the war? Why? That's extortion. If it fifty percent. Okay. That's, that's what we get taxed Look, you, you, you can... That's, without I'll, lies, Islam... You, you, can, you can fact check him. Fact check him, fact check me. You should fact check him. No, no, no. Fact check me now. No, that's what I'm saying. Fact check me as well. I'm saying fact check me. Yeah, but I made my point. All right, this is my point, yeah? Speak to me. My point is that the very existence of Speaker's Corner shows the difference between Christianity and Islam. Yeah. Because in a Christian country, you can, you can have, have Muslims yeah. freely say their ideas and Christians can say, all right, let's go back and forward intellectually, philosophically. Whereas in non-Christian countries, they again, kill you. we're Christian countries, we're backslidden. So we don't fully represent the ideals of a Christian country. But even like our heritage, our inheritance, we still have like the vestiges of Christianity. So even with the vestiges of Christianity, Muslims can speak. And I understand it's, uh, it's not solely Christian, like you got those of the Greek tradition and whatnot, the Roman tradition that also were into debate and whatnot. Okay, but flip the script. If I was to go to, and I love, I love Muslims, I grew up in London, obviously got loads of Muslim friends. This is not personal. If I was to go to Pakistan, if I was to go to Bangladesh, if I was to go to um, <laughs> Afghanistan, let's say, I can't set up a speaker's corner and say, Jesus Christ is the son of God. Only Jesus Christ can take no away way. your sins. I couldn't do that. No so way. We're talking about the history. I'm saying in the current day, when you look at what Christianity produces, because Jesus said, by your fruit, you will know them. Just when you look at the fruit that Christianity produces versus the fruit that Islam produces, you see that Christianity like is open to more ideas. Why people why Islam does have a, a reputation for being militant basically. So but my thing is my thing is yeah I don't want to necessarily like debate Muslims because Jesus wants to save Muslims as well yeah Jesus died on a cross for Muslims. I know you don't believe in it, but he died on a cross for Muslims. He rose again for Muslims. So that, I understand, I understand. So that you lot can have eternal life. Because this is the thing, in Islam, how is your sin paid for? My sin is paid for the fact that I'm a sinner, but the perfect savior, Jesus Christ, it was a switch. He died on a cross, took my sin, and gave me his righteousness. So that's, that's all we believe. And Hallelujah. So I would maybe like to know where does Islam, how does Islam atone for your sin to guarantee your spot in heaven? Because I guarantee, as long as I don't backslide, heaven is going to be my home. Whereas Islam, I understand you can't necessarily guarantee that heaven's going to be your home. It's a bit of a like, we'll see. Was Muhammad's father saved? Was he, was he right. in the Jannah, Muhammad's father? And right. So to go back. So how's a Christian? How's a Muslim? How does a Muslim get to heaven? I'll get to that. I'll get to that. But let me address you. Let me address your other point. Let me address your other point. Let me address your point. Let me. Let me address your point. No, no, but no, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, no, they don't need to hear me. My point is this, yeah. If I'm a judge, if I'm standing in for murder, and I'm about to go down for murder, no good deeds I do will take away that murder. No prayer to the judge, judge please, God please, it's not going to take away the murder. I've done that sin and I deserve that punishment. The only way we can be free is if someone takes the punishment. There's nothing outside of the punishment being taken that can set us free. And that's all the gospel, that's what we're saying as Christians. And you know what? I want to tell you, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Afghanistan, all these nations, 
In my lifetime, they could become Christian nations. Revival, Jesus could touch. Jesus could touch. You know, could be. Wait, 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 wait. It's not. It's not. It's not. Let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. It's not a Christian nation. You know, could be even more Christian. You can be even more Christian than Britain. But, like, that's our prayer that we hope that you lot make that choice that Jesus visits you in dreams and in visions, speaks to you and says, shows you that he is the way. And because this is the thing, all right? When Joseph, when Joshua stood before the Israelites when they were about to go into the promised land, he said, choose you this day. So that's all the gospel says, choose you this day. It's your choice, okay? So even if I grew up in a Christian family, I had to process all religions and say, I'm not, I don't want to be a Christian because that's my background. Same like Muslims need to say, I don't need to be a Muslim because of my background. Let me hear all the other arguments. And one thing about a Christian country is at least you can hear the arguments versus a Muslim country where your life might be in danger, possibly. Some Christians are joining you out. Uh, no, okay. might be in danger if you share these ideas. You finish, yeah? Right, so that's your buddy. Right. That's your buddy. Right. That's your Lamin is Muslim. I don't hate Muslims. Lamin is Muslim. I don't hate Muslims. I'm not against you lot. Lamin, Lamin, Lamin. Okay, so the clown. So to address to address your point. Alright, to address your point, Speaker's Corner exists not because it's a Christian country. Precisely because it's not a, a Christian country. It's a secular country. It's, it may have a Christian monarch. It has a Christian monarch, but it's Hold on, hold on. I, I don't a, no, no. Regardless of the denomination, he, he identifies. Doesn't make it seem like it's right, but the point is, the faith of the monarch is Christian. Okay, so we have a. You have a. Hold on, you have a. No, the faith of the monarch. No, hold on. Yes, but it's not the country. No, it's not the faith of the country. The country is run by secular law, not Christian law. By secular law, not Christian law. That's why you have a speaker's corner. Because when when Christianity throughout history had control. It was no one could speak about anything else. They would be put to the sword. Like I said, you can go away and look at the history of Christianity. I've been a Christian many years. I looked at these That's fine. And again, that's why I speak about fruit. I'm saying we're physically seeing it. Hold on, hold on. But let me. Right, yes. It's a yes, yeah, but it's a secular country. Now I'm not here. And now if you want to talk about the freedom, the freedom to preach in Muslim countries. That is precisely why we still have Coptic Christians, right? No, this is no, precisely no, no, why no, we still have no, Jews. This is precisely lie. why another there lie. are people converting in Muslim countries to other faiths. This is why there are apostates who we know of who have converted from Islam to other religions that are still alive, which have not been executed because the law of apostasy. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Because the law of apostasy is very. Um, 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 like, uh, um, you're saying what's the word? No, 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 it's not liberal, it's not liberal. The law of prophecy is very, uh, what's the word? What's the word? Specific. Specific. Okay? Give us the specifics. So, a person that changes his religion is not to be put to death. It's not right? to be put to there death. There is a difference between a minor apostate and a major apostate, okay? A major apostate is one who leaves the religion and then causes corruption in the society and causes and could be a potential harm to the Muslims in that society. Yeah, no, like, 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 wait, a major like, apostate, like, but a major they apostate. ideas. Like if I was to convert from Islam to Christianity, You're fine. and I went around like, no, but I'm Islam trying to well. infect then they can kill you. my idea, saying, you need to repent, you need no, to- No, if you, if you were to preach, you're, you have the right to preach. No, but I mean like really try and convert them. No, That's preaching. Bad, yeah. No, not real. no wait, wait, if you wait, wait, if you slander wait, wait, and yeah. blaspheme, yeah. Yeah. then that's a different story. No, then exactly. you can be held that's accountable. Jesus but but pre no, but preaching. Jesus is God. No, blasphemy. because blasphemy is different no, from blasphemy preaching. Blasphemy is just saying Jesus is God. If I say Jesus is God, in like let's say I go to uh, no, then that is your belief. There's a difference between stating your own belief. Yeah, but right. Muslims will say, and say in his blasphemy to say that Jesus is God. Everyone will say, everyone will agree. So go to Saudi Arabia and say Jesus is God. I like this group, bro. You know that as well. Blasphemy, no, no. The blasphemy, the blasphemy laws. The blasphemy laws. Okay. The blasphemy laws are very specific as well, right? We, we know. We know. We know what it is. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now let me. Let me. Let me. I just want to say this. No, because I want to answer you on the on the sin. The Bible says like. 
Knowledge puffs up, so knowledge makes you proud. Love edifies. So I'm just trying to move in love right now. Okay. It's not necessarily. In Islam, we can have right. the facts no, and one. fight. In Islam, in Islam. I just want to know that's Christians fine. love you, Christians love Muslims. That's what I've been trying to. Um, Look, I believe, I believe, I believe you are sincere in trying to save people. Otherwise, you wouldn't be preaching your religion, okay? Because you want people to be safe. Uh, to be Likewise, fair, I was literally Hold speaking on. with one guy. I don't know. Trying to share right. my faith with yeah, him, and fine. the Muslims came around yeah. and started. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Just, yeah, so that's, that's how fine. I know, I know, I know. So, in terms of, uh, what do you call it, um, our sin, okay? How are we saved? Okay? When we sin between ourselves and Allah, we ask Allah for His forgiveness. Okay? And that's it, and Allah is the most merciful. How? Oh, oh, okay. So, so the, okay, so justice, all right, when someone is sinning towards you personally, it is your choice whether to forgive or not. So if you choose to forgive, then that is just. Yeah, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you're hold on. sinning against God, hold on. No, see, God God as soon as the tongue utters it, you're forgiven, right? So Allah is quick to forgive, but right? Not just. He even says he to just? us, he even says to us, right, in the Hadith Qudsi, right, which comes directly from him, right? He says, if you walk to me, if you put a hand out, I'll put an arm out. Obviously, this is metaphorically speaking. If you walk to me, I'll run to you. So he's always quick to forgive you, right? When you repent, however, hold on. However, I'll come to it, I'll come to it, right? However, there are conditions to repentance. It's to admit your guilt. It's to feel bad about it, to have remorse, and to do your best not to repeat it, right? To do your best. Because Allah knows that you will sin again. He knows that, right? Because you're human, you're created weak. Now, where does the justice come in? When you sin upon another person, let's say I hit you. And I say, oh God, forgive me, you know, I hit this man. He will not forgive me until you forgive me. Because... I'm not talking about sins against no, 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 no. I'm talking about sins against God. No, because, because you're just... No, but it's a sin. Parable, because, no, no, hold on. In the parable... Well, let me finish, let me finish. He says, like, I've sinned against the Father. Right, right. Even David says he sinned against God. Like, okay. We're talking about sins against God. Yes, okay. How does but I'm God saying no. sins against himself? He forgives. He chooses to forgive. No, but where's the that justice? is justice. That is justice. Is it? No, it is. Do you know why? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. He's letting wickedness slide. No. Wait, wait, wait. Just one second. No. Wait, wait. Just one I'm second. speaking to just him. I'm speaking second. to him. No, no. Look, I'm here. Look, as a Muslim. What he said. As what a Muslim. Saying, no. this, this as a Muslim. Allah put a Jew or a Christian as a Muslim. a Muslim with heavy sins. As a Muslim. When they come on the day of uh, judgment, Allah will take a Jew or a Christian, put him in place of a Muslim. That as, is just as a, as a Muslim. Sin is a hadith. He cannot okay. deny it. As a, Do you deny the hadith? As a Muslim, Do you deny I, the hadith? my religion teaches me when someone is looking at me in the eye, I respect him and I address him. The Where interjection, the interjection is not going to help him. In place of a Muslim no. heavy sin, according to your hadith. I know, I know. No. I want to give you, I want to give so you your due respect. Yeah. Okay. So Allah just forgives. No, no, no. He between puts Muslim or a no, because Christian the thing is, you, you're used to a system where there is payment. Ask him. However, he in Islam, in the law of Moses, right? Do you believe in hadith? No. Or Abraham? Okay. We believe. We believe in Abraham. We do. We do. We do. Moses sacrificed. The Jewish, no, Abraham didn't sacrifice. Huh? Abraham didn't sacrifice um, what do you call it for his sin. Right? For the atonement of his sin. You can you can bring your you can bring the Bible but I'm going from the Islamic paradigm. Right. So the, yes he is. Now he instituted animal okay, okay. sacrifice not, to take away the sin. Not just animal sacrifice. No, but do you agree not just animal sacrifice? What other sacrifice? Flour. Yeah, grain right, grain and stuff, right, okay. So blood no no so blood is not the means of atonement. It is no there is no remission of sins. That's that's Hebrews, okay? So, that's Hebrews. Hebrews No no because the old testament the Old the Old no, 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 no. Tradition. The Old Very Testament spirit. tradition is not based on blood. Sprinkle the blood. Even uh, it is not based on blood. No, so the Holy of Holies that's what. No, no, no. Of blood. That's why, right? No, because blood was considered the highest of the sacrifices. But, but there's life in the no, blood. No, no, no. See, look, in Islam, in Islam, when we sacrifice animals during the Hajj, it is to commemorate the sacrifice that Abraham did why of the Ram. Hold on. He doesn't Hold know on. anything. No, he doesn't know it is a sacrifice. Now, you what does Allah? Now, what Your does Allah? What does Allah say about the sacrifice of the animals? He says in the Quran. He says in the Quran that it is not the blood that reaches him, rather it is the piety and the obedience of the person doing the sacrifice that reaches him. But now to adjust. Allah is con contradicting himself then. No. If that's what he says. Why? Is, no, Allah if wants. Is a, if Moses is a prophet, so not Allah, Allah, Allah. How you said it. Um, Allah, yeah. 
what, uh, Abraham is a prophet, Moses yes. is a prophet. Yes. Moses clearly instituted animal sacrifice mm. to show the pattern that all Passover, remember the Passover. would be sacrificed. Even from the beginning, remember when Adam and Eve sinned, God killed an animal, gave them coverings as a picture of what would come. Covering their sin. Animal no, see, okay. Covering their sin. So from the, 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 so from the Christian, from the Christian perspective, This is boring out there. That's fine. What do you call it? People, Actions over there. people love the drama. Over there. I'd rather us come to truth. No, I'm yeah? So he doesn't want to uh, the, the blood sacrifice so, from the Garden so, of Eden. He might be Christian in like two weeks. Who knows? No, he he's no. he's been here a long time. He's a so he's so here's the he's thing. Regular. So here's the thing. In the Christian perspective, now the slaughtering, you didn't, you didn't the slaughtering. Us your, blood sacrifice you mentioned it this we do blood sacrifice in commemoration of Abrahamic sacrifice we asked you why did Abraham sacrifice I'm gonna ask you yeah to respect him and let me respond to him well I'm working with him all right should we read Another the room and call it a day maybe we'll just call well, it if, you, if, yeah. if you want to speak to the crowd then you can speak to the crowd I'm here but I'm here what's your name Mohammed Mohammed what's your name Curly. Curly? Yeah. Nice one. Uh, nice speaking to you. Nice one. I seen you on YouTube. Yeah, cool. Bro, where's that? The guy was going to go to school for no reason. That guy, him. Nah, he's cool, he's cool. It's all love. Look, no, 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 people, 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 yeah, 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 I know. I that's why, that's why I tried to pull him back. Yeah, thank you. Okay. I said nothing about Islam. I said nothing about Christianity. The guy came up to me and I'd come in him saying, oh, I'm ugly. Right. Forgive him. He's Forgive like, him. Like 60, Forgive him. Not everyone yeah, is the same. Yeah, no one is the same. Not sincere, but people like him. Alright, okay. okay. right. Mohammed, would you debate me if I wanted to debate you on oh, the sacrifice? No, because no, 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 I, 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 cameras watching. I would. I will tell you why, why I wouldn't not? debate you because um, in Islam, okay, I'll be I'll be very clear, clear with you. In Islam, we are to avoid debates. The reason being. Right. Because Muhammad avoided debates. Actually, Muhammad Sallallahu uh, debated with the Christians no, of Najran. No, he ran away. Um, and they, uh, yeah, they actually came to his mosque, so he, uh, he was hospitable towards them. But, but, why do we avoid? Why were debating? Why were you debating? Why? I'm not debating him. It was a discussion. It's a discussion. It's a discussion. Okay, let's discuss. Okay. We we can't discuss with people. A debate, okay. we are right. we are to refrain from. Right. Now why? Let me, See, look. Let me correct. Okay, no. Let me let. So let's not have okay. a debate. Let's have a discussion about oh, blood sacrifice no. in Christianity and in Islam. Would you agree to having a discussion? I will tell you why not. Because I pick I pick the people that I discuss with, and someone who I'm discussing with needs to have a the same level of knowledge that I do or greater. And, and I don't believe you do. You don't believe? I don't believe. The reason being, you know that? The, I'll, I'll tell you how I know. Because while I was discussing with, Kurt, with yeah. Kurtley, yeah. you were bringing uh, uh, argumentation for which you do not know the, the context of, you do not know the exegesis of, you have simply Give me an example stated, okay, I'll tell you, okay. Yeah, the, hadith, the hadith of the, uh, of the ransom, uh, wait a second, the hadith of the ransom, yeah. okay, where the Jews and the Christians uh, where the, uh, take the place of the Muslims. What is the, what is the exegesis of this hadith? If you know this, then I will discuss with you. Okay, well, well, wait a minute. I'm just quoting you the mm. hadith. Why am I supposed to give you the exegesis? Ah, ah. Okay. See, because, when you're, the, uh, because when, you're saying, when you're propagating it in front on, of the on, people hold on, hold on, as hold on. something that they should be wary of, so you, you should you have the knowledge you disagree. for it. You disagree with yes. my analysis of this you, hadith. You, no, don't. all you have done, all you have done is, is, quote, is quote a hadith. Quote that does hadith. not sit, that, does, that is not telling of a person of intellect. A person of intellect that knows the context of what he is quoting. Well, you, okay. The Do you word, agree? Word, okay, here. Do you agree? Of course. Okay, okay. so if you come to me with the context of the sources that you are quoting to me, then I will respect you as an intellect okay. and discuss with you. Uh, I have Is been, this fair? I ha yeah, of course. So Fine. I can give you the Until context. then, until then, I will not but discuss. The, the, okay, so you're just trying to find an excuse to run away. That's fine. The thing is You that, can say this. You no, can say you that. You did, you did. The thing is this. That, that verse in the Hadith is very clear. It's not a verse. Uh, it's not a verse, but it's in the Hadith. It's very clear. No, it's, it's not clear. clear. What is, why is it not right. clear? I'll tell you why. Because in, seventh, in the 7th century, Arabic is different to modern Arabic. Would you agree? 
So there will be so there will be rhetorics. I will tell you as an Arab, there are rhetorics in the Arabic language that are different from modern Arabic, even modern Fusha Arabic to seventh century Arabic. So when you're reading a text, okay, you're re first and foremost. You are limited because you're reading the English. Secondly, if you knew the Arabic, if you knew the Arabic language, you would have to be familiar with the Arabic of the seventh century, as well as rhetoric, its idioms, how the people spoke, basically. If you do not know this, right, then you cannot interpret that text. Right, you cannot interpret that speech. When you, on when top you of that, on top, I'll, on top I'll, of that, I'll, you need to understand. You need to learn from the scholars who are specialized in these areas as to what these hadith actually mean. Now, unfortunately, you haven't done any of that. No, I have. First of all, well, so if you did, hold on, hold then you'll be able to tell me I the context. I just caught you out because you said it in the seventh century. I just caught you out. Okay, listen, 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 listen. listen. If you have the if no, you no, have I'm the listening. Guts. I'm listening. If you have the guts. Okay. Don't use these sound bites with me. It doesn't work. You know this. Well, because you're, you're interrupting me when I when I'm talking. You're by, interrupting. By Allah, I have okay, not interrupted listen, you. Listen to this. You said in the seventh century Arabic was different than today's Arabic. Correct. Okay. Was this hadith written in the seventh century? Yes. When were hadith written? In the seventh century. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. Tell me which hadith were written in the seventh century. No, I don't know. I don't know the number, but they were. I don't know the number. Yeah, yeah. Listen, you know it. Any Muslim watching on this camera knows that these were not written for 200 years after the Prophet. There was no. Who was the first? Okay, who was the type? 200 years. Hold on. And here's the yeah, 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 yeah. Khalil, Khalil. Let me catch him out. Let me catch him out. What was the first uh, compilation of the Hadith? Okay, compilation. What was the first compilation of hadith? As far as we know, the hadith were written 200 years after. If they were written 200 years later, who, who was, who was the first? Five, who was the first to write it? Okay, you tell me. Was it? Was it? Uh, what's his name? Uh, his uncle, uh, uh, Hasham, Hasham, or was it? Was was his name? There is a couple of people, but that was the, the whole thing was written 200 years. Even no? if you say it was written in the seventh century. Hold on, just a second. In the seventh century, there were no dikes critical marks okay so if something is written somebody has to come in the ninth century when diacritical marks were added to those hadiths to make sense of it so he's saying it was written in the seventh century which is absolutely false no he okay. cannot prove it he can make a claim i, I can't prove Any it muslim can i can't prove, prove it hold on a second hold on hold on a second because you were talking about diacritical marks do you know that diacritical marks existed prior to the Ottomanic codex to when the diacritical the diacritical marks existed Prior to the Osmanic Codex, okay, where, and that was where, where and that was it, exist? and where? that was in 648. 648. Who who invented right. the no no so, who invented oh, the diacritical marking? Give him a chance to speak. Give him a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Give him a chance. Now, I, I forgot the name of the person who uh, interpreted. the name of the person who, who came the up with the diacritical. Yes, I am. I am a. Five. Okay, no problem. Look, look. Give me the. Who invented the diacritical? See, see, look, look. When, when I say I don't remember, in Arabic, in Arabic, mankind is is called insan. Hold on, because insan comes from the root word nasi, which means to forget. Okay, you forgot. So, uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, so forgot. don't don't put it as a point against me because no, no, no. I forgot all right, all right, the, right. the name of a person. Okay, no, no, no. okay. That is a low mark, and no, no. I want you okay, I want okay. you to rise above that, please. Rise above these low, low, low things, okay? If I show you I want that you to you be better. Lying, I want you to be you better. You should rise above lies. You just lied in front of I, cameras, saying that diacritical marks. Are, I asked you I who started question. the diacritical. And okay, I don't know. I don't know the name. Diacritical marks were added to the Quran after the the, 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 the eighth and the ninth century. No, 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 no. No. The Quran and the Hadith. Hold on, hold on. So you're saying that the, the difference. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. The difference. No, no. no you're you getting your history mixed up. You are getting your history mixed up. Okay. Let me let me tell you. Okay. So you're saying that these were written with diacritical marks in the seventh century. Is that right? Hold on a second. Is that your position? Hold on a second. Go ahead. Okay. First and foremost, the diacritical marks existed as part of the Arabic uh, text prior to 648, because that was the date of the Uthmanic Codex. Now, whether the hadith were transcribed in in um, uh, with diacritical marks or not, it was actually transcribed in both. Some Arabs like to write without the diacritical marks. Some uh, Arabs like to write with the diacritical marks. Okay. Now we find these hadith. Keep digging. Keep we, digging. That's fine. Go ahead. We find these hadith written in the margins of uh, Quranic uh, manuscripts. We the earliest compilations, no right? The, the earliest compilations of hadith are in the seventh century. 
Okay. Bukhari comes around in the in the in the eighth century, if I'm not mistaken. And Bukhari comes after, I believe, in his chapter.